parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 563, and I have a really good feeling it's going to get very, very mayhemy, especially later in the show. Uh, Mike Sorg here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. With me, man, we got such a crew with us. First of all, on the couch, Nick Lindell, announcer for IWC International Wrestling Cartel, joins us. How you doing, man? I'm good. 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 Thanks for having me. And we had a, did, had a great uh, talk with you for Indie Mayhem Show. It's coming up this Thursday. Talking about, like, why is there a picture of you with a WWE microphone, for instance? So, <laughs> we'll get, so we'll get, so check that out for that story. And also with us on the couch, he is back again, Chad the Shad. I got Hello. something for you here in a moment after we get through all the, uh, all the, 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 the officially official stuff here. All right. All right. I'm okay. Excited. And also with us on the line from California, Pennsylvania, he works with the Renegade Wrestling Alliance Sound Operations. He is Wheels. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's good to be here on a Tuesday night talking some pro wrestling. Thank you for joining us. Also on the line from Monroeville, PA, is The Riz. Sorg, there has not been a video of of multiple wrestlers doing something that captivated the audience as much as Southpaw Pro Wrestling. Thank you, Riz. You Thank you, Riz. No, no, that's exactly where I thought you'd get him. Also, here in the hot seat is Larry. Hello. And with an audience with him. Hello. Look at that. Everybody hanging out back there. So, <laughs> is this so? Is this your entourage, Larry? Yes. Yes. They're, they handle my Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> perfect and uh and of course uh producer missy is hanging out here as well I mean, she's waving she's waving on an audio <laughs> show uh <laughs> but this is your wrestling mayhem show please check us out wrestling mayhem show.com you can subscribe to the show on itunes citrus speaker iheart radio and video versions on the wrestling mayhem show facebook and youtube play page Please uh, drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 as well as uh, uh, the email address, which is good times. good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also, you can support the show, Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. I don't know if I should bother to do the roll call because we're practically going to do it here later in the show, but I want to do it anyways. Thank you to our fans of the show at the dollar level. Bo diggity! Woo! Ed Burke, he's back there. Ah. Matthew and Jennifer Carnes. <laughs> I love to get the high in the background. Uh, Matthew and Jennifer Carnes Foundation for Podcast Betterment. The Tragar, Bobby F. J. Town, and at the Pocket Club $5 level, where you guys get Mayhem Show Gold, where you get to learn about ice cream this week. Tina Keys, Christopher Bishop, Mad Mike, henceforth referred to as the American Kevin Owens. And uh, please check us out here live every Tuesday night, 10 p.m until a while until the morning uh live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com or very specifically the facebook stream over on our facebook page for wrestling mayhem show uh you can join us and become part of this uh, amazingly growing uh, uh crew here uh, uh some in person some online some intermixing some online and in person at the same time from what i'm seeing here uh so <laughs> uh, i see you i see you back there i see you back there i don't know where which camera you are though um but <laughs> Where's he at? There you go. Um, but anyway, so we got, before we get into the news this week, we got something special. Uh, and somebody's going to join us later for Mayhem Mania. Um, and, and yes, we, you can buy our love uh, here on the Wrestling Mayhem <laughs> Show. But uh, we talked a lot about it. We talked about, about Impact Wrestling, uh, Chad the Shad returning and, and re rekindling his feud with uh, Ultimate X DL, of course, yes. right? Yes. 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 Uh, so Billy Johnson brought us, sent us something special. Saw it online, and uh, there you go. Um, 
It is for you guys on audio. This is the. There you go. Applaud. Like there it. you go. There Hold you on. go. That's good. That's good. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. It is the. For Chad, the shed over there to wear during the show and uh, Roman afterwards. Uh, it was very. He, it was very specifically. This would look good in the studio. Uh, so it's the uh, Rebby Hardy. Fuck that owl. What is there in the bottom? Broken, broken. Broken in the bottom there in the uh, impact logo. So there you go. Does it look like I'm wearing it? <laughs> <laughs> Pulling it off perfect. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So uh, thank you so much, Billy Johnson. And for that, he's uh, uh, bought his way into the Patreon in the bank. Well played. Uh, there you go. So that is now part of the studio. Thank you so much for that. Uh, all right. Uh, you know, Impact Wrestling has been, um, um, well, something. As, uh, as uh, Mike has been explaining to me on the Midweek War in our, our very special quiz. If you haven't heard yet, uh, we, we play a game on Midweek War where he tells me three things that happened on Impact. And I have to tell him which of them is a lie. <laughs> so that's how we recap Impact at this point. And it's very entertaining whether you watch it or not. Because I don't. And I'm part of the show. So, um, but, have, but Have they started selling frozen food yet? <laughs> Because they have the logo for it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, I'm but just gonna wait. What? <laughs> wait for the snow peas. <laughs> um, but uh, something else came out this week that wasn't on Netflix that uh, caught people's attention. I just made this joke. What? <laughs> <laughs> and Riz talked about it. Is Southpaw Wrestling right. Southpaw Regional <laughs> Wrestling? Yes. I don't know what else to say about it at this point because it's so amazing. Yes, <clears throat> it, it was a complete <clears throat> left field move. Yeah, absolutely. For you who haven't seen it, please, it, it's four episodes. It'll take you like all of about a half an hour on YouTube. Um, but it, it, it is a real tape. With people that resemble John Cena, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, and the like, um, from what was it, nineteen eighty-seven? Mm-hmm. They're eighty-four. Eighty-four, really that old? I thought it was late eighties. Um, eighty-seven, I think. Eighty-seven-ish. Okay, 87? I think Jericho's dad's in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, a, he's an announcer. <laughs> oh, that might be. Yeah, that's that where, might be. That's where he gets. They're his promoting. Job. They're promoting a, a lethal leap year. Yeah, of course. It's a great pay per view. Great yeah, pay per view. Okay. Yeah, they were eighty-seven. That seems about right. I mean, in in and also, I'm impressed that this is like seems to be a backdoor uh, uh, ad for Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> in the long run. Um, Those Kentucky Fried Chicken commercials were perfect. The what? The the fact that they say. They have Ric Flair doing the voiceover for him. And they say it's a Ric Flair paid in person. <coughs> is Come on down to the Kentucky Fried Chicken down by the high school. For the, yeah. For the tangy. Go, chicken gold. <laughs> Nobody's going to do the woo. That's no, I can't cool. remember them. I can't. Oh, oh woo. Woo. Honey mustard. <laughs> woo. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I forgot the rest of those. <laughs> Yeah. So and if you're end. lucky and nice Christy to them, King, they, may, mustard, they may sign your rapper after the show. <laughs> <laughs> and the one they said, Let's, if you're nice to them and ask politely, they may sign your sandwich <clears throat> wrapper. So come on down to KFC after Lethal Leap Year. This is, and, 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 and I know some people, this is like, and I feel like we've seen this on SmackDown too. Like there's, you know, we had the uh, Total Bella bullshit segments on, on SmackDown. Like, they're embracing this weird tongue in cheek, like you know, it, Nick. We just talked about like like attitude era. Like it uh-huh. feels like it's it's that kind of thing, right? Like 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 in the mm-hmm. goofy nature, especially especially with the language they've they've been saying a lot of a lot of things that you wouldn't normally hear them say. I just think that they're trying to just get some get some buzz before WrestleMania goes. Of course, mm-hmm. so just try to make make the uh, angles going into the show look a little more realistic between you know Miz and. Nikki Bella and all that. Despite the cross dressing, <laughs> and then, well, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm so I, I, I'm sorry. I just I just pictured Tyler Breeze dresses as Nikki Bella again. Drop my mic. Um, because because what the hell? Uh, you know, and then extended to that, right? Like we 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 saw the gra- we, we were here sitting in the studio watching SmackDown, and they showed the graphic of like John Cena and Fandango. And we're like, what? You know, like. like I can't think yeah. of that being for any other reason than the Southpaw Wrestling connection, yeah. right? 
Yeah, they were all there. And then we got, got what we did, there. which was which was great, which was absolutely it was it was fantastic. Um, I want to know who came up with it. Yeah, was like, it a wrestler? What, what was the meeting that that made this happen? So, who, who Road pitched, Dogs Magic Dartboard. Yeah, who pitched who who pitched who on that idea? <laughs> It, it feels like it's the attitude guys, right? Like it feels like that's the yeah. kind of thing that, mm-hmm. like, you know, you know, the Road Dog and 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 Billy and 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 Triple H would be like, this is funny. Like it feel it actually it does feel like something that was funny to those guys, yeah. right? It feels like something that was funny to the guys that were involved in and it. And John Cena and Jericho are like uh, anchors. Oh yeah, not as in anchors and anchors, both they anchor the show <laughs> and they play anchors. <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Who impressed you guys the most out of, uh, I guess, their series of range that you saw on Southpaw? Fandango. Fandango. Rusev. Yeah. Rusev. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I think that gimmick's better than the one he has in the ring right now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. They eat the chickens, you know. Yeah, eat the they chickens. eat the chickens. Eat absolutely. The chickens. Uh, Tyler, so. Tyler Breeze as the banker was phenomenal. <laughs> Him just laughing and fixing his mustache. <laughs> yes. <laughs> over and over. Uh, from the chat, man, Mike's fun. hanging out in there. Fandango was picture perfect. He disappeared in that role. Uh, yeah, I, it took me a while for to figure out who he was. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Well, first he didn't talk for a while, right? Um, mm-hmm. And then and then it was just amazing. Because he was sleeping, sort of. He was sleeping, of course. And it, I mean, and it just goes back mm-hmm. to, and, and maybe this is lent to, because uh, uh, thank you, Matt Carlins, for uh, letting us know NXT the old NXT episodes are now on the network. So you can check out the Betamax uh, episodes with uh, uh, Maxine, Bar- Derek Bateman. I can't remember everybody's old name. And Curtis? Johnny Curtis. Johnny Curtis, right? Johnny Curtis. Johnny Which is Curtis. what, like, like that's what, like, we, we, people on the show are, like, watching these, finding these online. And it's mm-hmm. like, guys, you got to see what Derek Bateman and all these guys are doing. Uh-huh. You know, meanwhile, you're getting... You know, CM Punk and Seth Rollins, you know, as a match. You know, it's 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 worth going back to and see. You know, as we you know, you know, baby Seth Rollins on this and and baby Cesaro uh, uh, before before they got big. So they're all on there now, like like the 2013 episodes. They and took stuff, that into, back to 2012. So, yeah, I last time I looked, I think the earliest was was sometime in. 14 probably. yeah like right before they came on the network yeah and yeah, that's cool i didn't know I have to they, go they, check they that just out. added it this week so definitely worth checking out um uh oh billy by, billy by the way is letting us know that rebby hardy story is closing everything must go could be the hardy to wwe question mark or it could they be a season they sent them, they sent them a contract oh there you go um yeah where, where does they offer them a contract Some money Money is for marks. What, the, what are you doing back there? What, what are you doing back there? That, that, Matt Hardy has a T-shirt. Says money is for marks. Oh, okay. Thanks. That's why, um, that's why he worked for Conan for free. Money is for marks. And stole the belt in the long run, right? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, Southpaw is definitely. I, I, I mean, you kind of wish. Like, does this become a a, a network show? Does this just you know something they bring it back? It should have been a network show. You think it should have been? It should have been like a weekly network show, mm-hmm. like they did with Camp WWE, where they just released it on demand. It was probably cheaper to make than Camp WWE. Yes, yeah. in the long run, it probably is. So I want to see the bloopers of it. I think we did. There were no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there were no bloopers. You can't blooper real life. Oh yeah, you can't. <laughs> yes, there's that too. Um... You can't. You can't blooper. Uh, uh, the surfer, uh, the, oh, what were they? What were they called? Surfer dudes with attitudes. Yes, you can't do. That. Wait, wait, wait! And I know he's not on mic right now, but Matt, surfer dudes with attitudes. I know. <laughs> I think I tweeted you immediately when I saw that. I don't think I can. I can't get the surfer dudes with attitudes quotes Twitter account. I'm sorry. <laughs> the sentence quotes is going to have to. They're, gonna have to be they're just now. hanging ten, and hiing fives for. <laughs> hiing five. Holy crap. Uh, so so check it out it's free on the youtube for the moment at least uh so uh southpaw regional wrestling uh and support your indie or your 1980s indie uh wrestling promotion while you're at it too all right all right uh hey want to give a shout out to our friend slice on broadway 
um we might have to get more pizza from them because we have a lot of people in the studio now <laughs> so uh supporting uh pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza uh for a while also now down at pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates uh they're right up here in beachview right up from the studio uh, from mayhem studios uh, along the tracks here the original location of well was over in carnegie pa on main street so if you're in pittsburgh road dog i know you listen I know you checked out the Permanis or sent those writers the Permanis the other night. Thank you. You should come over to Slice on Broadway next time you're in town. You don't say thank you, Sark. You say you're welcome. You, you're, you're thank you. Yes. Uh, but please check out our friends Slice on Broadway. Let them know uh, that you heard about them on the Mayhem Show. I mean, they they make uh, wheels so so hungry that he's tagging me on Instagram with pictures of him with pasta earlier in the night so thanks for that that was interesting uh so slice on broadway.com uh check them out okay uh so we i think we have everybody on mic that i'm wanted to talk about so so a few people on the show checked out lucha underground for the first time this week thanks to netflix and Mm -hmm. being on or listening to our interview with uh krista joseph uh last week um, Larry, I think you are probably the newest to it because I don't think you've been through a lot of the conversation that we've had on the show no. around it, other than, of course, uh, Chris being on last week. Uh, I'm really curious your impressions. Okay. And you're, you're only like three episodes in, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I just finished the third episode. But I love like the next so day far. I was like, I'm completely watching Lucha Underground. <laughs> so, I was, I was. I downloaded um, it that so, night. So what do you think of it so far? Um, I like it. I love the wrestling in it. Um, the... Format is really foreign to me, considering I've only really ever watched WWE. Mm. Um, so it, it kind of has uh, an American Gladiators uh, feel to it, like kind of that reality show. Yeah, feel. yeah, yeah, yeah. It does which, a little which, bit. Which I think it just takes some getting used to. And and, um, and to be fair, I think that dissipates a little bit in later episodes. Yeah, like that was like kind of the initial thing. And, and then the producer is the same one that does. Um, it's Mark Burnett. Yeah, yeah, he Survivor. does a he, he does a lot. Of, yeah, Survivor. He does reality shows, yeah. so I right. think that fits into that. right. So yeah, I I think it's just a, something that is takes getting used to. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been entertaining as hell. Um, I've let yeah, like I said, I've like I've loved watching the wrestling that they've had so far in it. Um, I'm not totally caught up on like all the characters uh, yet, and you know, like all the storylines that they're going with. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna finish it and see. You have a lot ahead of I you. Got a lot. You have a lot ahead of you. I got a lot. Yeah, like so, some like 50 I'll... episodes or something. <laughs> at this point. So I'm on number. I can't four wait. Right now, I can't so. wait till you get to some points. Um, yeah. uh, Wheels, I think you you were new to it this week too, right? Yeah. Yes, I was. Um, I'm on episode 19. So Larry has a lot of catching up to do to where I'm at, and I have to agree with him on some. It, it's an interesting format to what I'm used to, but I'm like, this is, I like how you said it's like the American Gladiators. Mm-hmm. It's like the American Gladiators met indie wrestling and the commentary is just wonderful. And it, I, I enjoy listening to Matt Stryker and Vampiro and just listening to him talk about Blue Demon and going Blue Demon. I went, it's Blue Demon. Oh, wait, Mexican. Never mind. <laughs> so, I mean, I enjoy just the build of characters and just the way the matches flow. It's, and the crowd's great. I, I just love watching the crowd, too. Mm-hmm. It, it is interesting also to see, like, that develop. Like going, uh, we, we talked about this, I think, off off air for the most part, or maybe last year on the or last week on the interview, just, like, seeing how different those first couple episodes, seeing them fight where there should be chairs uh, is, is mm-hmm. kind, of, kind of fun, you know. So, uh, anybody else check it out for the first time this week? Chad, have you been watching it? Yeah, yeah. I'm up to, I think, eight. Mm-hmm. Episode eight. I had failed to realize there was actually that many episodes. Like, I looked <laughs> at the episode count, I was like, whoa, 36 episodes, season one. And I was like, 40 minutes each. Whoa, these are <laughs> no joke. There's some double episodes there's, towards the end, too. There's a lot there. Yeah. There, a lot more than I thought. But um, being, like, eight episodes in, I, I, I like it. Mm-hmm. and same with what everybody else is, is saying about it has a different look and feel and it has like those american ninja warrior or american gladiator like flyover type feels um but overall it's i like the i like it it's definitely got that edited feel to it right 
Like, I yeah, think it's the biggest yeah. thing that, that makes it feel yeah. like, because yeah. we're used to watching a show that is mostly just kind of live switched, even if it's live to tape and put on, you know, they're like SmackDown would have been or something. You don't see a lot of like, wow, he, we, wow, he made it to the ring quick, you know, kind yeah. of kind of things that kind of speed things along a little bit, like artificially. Like you can kind of feel that artificial when you watch a lot of wrestling. And the quality and style in which they shoot their like sit downs at the desk or mm -hmm. their training montage yeah uh they were all shot hollywood style like <laughs> right right not that. yeah what do you guys think about that like that kind of different take on 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 those the backstages i guess i i enjoy it i enjoy like the vignettes type things basically i think that's what chad's trying to say is that like when they're just showing the backgrounds of these guys and i'm like this is a good way to get people invested in that wrestler and I mean, I'd say character, but I mean, rest or whichever you want to say, but I like it. It's, I like that you can go in the office and listen to the conversations and you're like sitting at the edge of your seat going, all right, what's going to happen? And then you got to wait another episode, which is good for us that caught it on Netflix that we can catch it right then. Mm -hmm. Anybody who watched it live. I felt bad for now. I really feel bad for her. It, it, it because, kinda, oh my god! Right, it, it kind of goes back to that whole, and I had the same experience watching it on. I, I bought it on iTunes and, and went through it, of course. But going back and saying, "My God, you guys had to deal with this from week to week." I know Matt and, <laughs> and Matt, and Mike, and and and, and you know, everybody involved in that show, Garza, Amen. Uh, you know, you you kind of like, oh, this is what they're excited about, waiting from episode to episode as you hit yeah. you know next button, right? So uh, my dog has been loving it. <laughs> uh so oh here's here's a question for the newbies um who who is everybody's who is everyone's favorite wrestler from lucha underground so far uh same for you guys in the chat that are new to it too hmm. puma uh mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. right now i'm enjoying oh go ahead larry sorry oh it's, yeah i mean i'm only three episodes in right now but so far um yeah puma has had has been my favorite so far i mean they kind of like have portrayed like johnny was it mundo yeah as yeah. the he's like the top guy mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. which it i don't know it's it's it is what you would expect you know like he, he's the good guy no matter what side so, note you should look up a, a guy on youtube named ricochet he's eerily similar to prince puma i just want to put that out there for you Okay. You know, there's some interesting stuff with him <laughs> and Will Ospreay. That will probably blow your mind a little bit. So there's some nods in the background. Yes. <laughs> so just putting that out there. What about you, Chad? Um, I I was a fan of Richard Ricochet mm -hmm. bef ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I see the tattoos and I'm like, oh, I know who that is. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> it's it's too early for me to really settle in mm -hmm. on one person. But I will say Matt Stryker grounds everything for me matt striker really ties everything together and makes me attentive of what of, of the product matt striker does a wonderful job of weaving what's going on and down to a, a nice science and relates it real easy back to you and you you get a sense of the gravity of the situation you know the stakes it's really nice for someone who doesn't know the product coming in to watch it have someone like matt striker being your commentary guy and even mm -hmm. vampiro to ease you into hey this is this is all gonna be different like have you have you noticed uh, eight episodes in like how excited they get yeah like is that, mm -hmm. that really coming off at this and point and it seems genuine too. yeah absolutely like, it's, it's not just seems... like it's not just like i have to be here you know getting excited right i yeah. think it was coming off from the first episode mm -hmm. yeah honestly like, he's He's not selling the product. He's generally excited for it. Because mm -hmm. if I if I remember correctly, the at, at the end of the first season, his Matt Stryker's voice shot. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. gone because they've been going through like, yeah. they've been going through Ultima Lucha and 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 and, and for however long that shit and, was and, and you know you full tell he was he was excited about that. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of yeah. Corey Graves announcing. Like you can tell when he's generally, like genuinely, um, interested and like excited about what's going on. Versus you know? it does. I mean, cool. 
is you know the man as far as things go there right yeah uh but you can like everything's like a voice of this is my voice to get you excited not because i'm excited for this right you know and i think that conveys maybe that's one of those things where you would see him um at ringside you know screaming into a monitor and it looked like he was just pulling it off and not actually into it. whereas like jim ross you kind of always felt like he was excited for it, right yeah. uh, uh nick I, I, how much have you uh checked out lucha underground i've watched it here and there I, I haven't yeah. you know i haven't seen um you know a lot of episodes uh just because there's so much other wrestling to watch mm-hmm. um but things that stick out it's it's good to be different like you said it has that hollywood feel and it has a different um a different style and that's good because a lot of people they've they've watched wwe so when they hear about a new wrestling company or something new that's getting a lot of buzz, they go to it and they expect it to be WWE. And when it's not what they've seen on Raw or SmackDown, they kind of want to they kind of want to crap on it because it's not what they're used to. Instead of giving it a chance, like uh, like some of these guys said, oh well, you know, at first it was hard to get used to the style of filming and the backstage presence and and things like that, but. If you can accept that and get to it, it's actually a very entertaining show. And like he was saying with Matt Stryker, Matt Stryker has always come across to me when I'm listening to him as a wrestling fan who is announcing. Matt Stryker is somebody that I respect as an announcer coming up in the business because Matt Stryker was always a wrestling fan. Not saying that some of these guys now weren't wrestling fans, but even in his WWE tenure, you could tell when Matt Stryker's announcing, he's not getting excited because someone's in his ear telling him to get excited. The biggest thing I could point to, and he got a bad rap for that in WWE. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't like him for that in WWE. Um, I can think back. It was one of the Royal Rumbles where Kevin Nash was a surprise entrant as, as Diesel and Matt Stryker almost marked out at the announce table. Now, um, I don't know how much the announcers are told of here's the surprise entrance. Here's who's coming out at what but he legitimately seemed like, oh my God, it's Diesel. I used to watch Diesel, and now, you, you know, mm-hmm. and and it almost you could hear, you could tell that J- uh, Jerry Lawler is kind of telling him to settle down a little bit. Mm-hmm. A couple times throughout that broadcast, that Royal Rumble broadcast, he's all right, Striker, calm it, down. It's you know? a little bit of that demeaning uh-huh. wrestler, you and, know. And that's why, hey, settle down, Mark. And that's why, thing. like, uh, like he was saying in Lucha Underground, he probably has more of a freedom to yeah. go Ooh. off and get excited about these things and not having somebody in his ear every 30 seconds telling him to plug plug this sponsor, plug this, do this, do this. So, um, like, like I said, the best thing about um, – Lucha Underground is that they're different. Back in the day, whenever uh, Eric Bischoff took over WCW, his main thing was to be different than WWE. They have Mm -hmm. these cartoon characters. I want to make my characters more realistic. I want to have more realistic storylines. I, you know, these guys are Kevin or uh, Diesel and Razor Ramon. They're going to use their real names here. They're going to, you know, do more of that. And I think the biggest thing, like I said, is just all about being different. Like, like you said, the uh, some of the backstage things. Uh, in the office are a little different. I, I used to like a while ago, TNA doesn't do impact, doesn't do this as much anymore. Um, they used to have during backstage promo, well, not promos, but backstage segments where two guys are talking about a match or discussing something. There would almost, it would almost be like it was a hidden camera, mm-hmm. just a camera just placed there to capture these guys rather than, I can remember the the example I always use is this Monday night raw from, probably 2006 where um, the McMahons and Shawn Michaels and the spirit squad are all in that big feud. And there's one part of raw where Shane McMahon puts something in Shawn Michaels drink to, I don't want to say drug him, but do something. And in the segment, Shane McMahon is like looking around, like, is is anyone, anyone seeing me doing this? I'm going to pour this in here when there's clearly a camera guy filming him. Yeah. Now, as opposed to that in TNA, uh, and everyone can shit on TNA, you know, as much as they want. But there have been times where two heels, <laughs> two heels are talking in the back about, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jump this guy, and we're gonna, you know, take him out of the match. And it's not like, okay, we're filming, and everyone's gonna know what we're doing because we don't know that they're filming us t- talking about how we're gonna take this guy out. So, uh, I going back to it, I think the best thing about Lucha Underground is how they are trying to be different. Because when you try to be the same and you try to copy everything else, you're dead. Dead in the water, 
mm-hmm. immediately. Uh, Wheels, I don't think you answered a, a favorite wrestler, but I feel like you were familiar with a lot oh. of these guys to begin with. Oh uh, yeah, uh, honestly, first it was uh, Drago. I really started enjoying Drago, but then with his whole feud, spoiler alert for Larry and uh, Chad. <laughs> It was, plug uh, your ears, Cuerdo. plug your ears. Larry's got his headset <laughs> off. Don't worry about it. Okay, I like King Cuerdo, honestly. I loved his his sneaky sk- style. Mm-hmm. And I, I love watching him, and I like watching Drago. And it's just, honestly, I like all the characters, but Drago just brings something. It's that mask, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I love I love the characters like that. I think you're you're safe now. That that have that, like, like you know, the mask is maybe more than a mask kind of feel to them, right? It's something mm-hmm. a little bit different. And they really Especially the tongue thing. I mean that right. whole, that dragon tongue thing is just like that is gross but cool at the same time. <laughs> it is something that I know in later uh, like late second season, maybe into the third, like they're they're really do a little bit more of that with some of the characters too. So as I get more into it. So, um, awesome. Awesome. Any, any last thoughts on Lucha Underground? First impressions, guys, out there? So, are you guys going to keep watching it or, or at least put yeah. it in, in, oh, the, yeah. in the cycle I, at least a little yeah. bit more? I'll go through the first season. Mm-hmm. Check it out. I figure yeah, out then I'll know whether or not I'm going to want to watch it. After, after almost 40 episodes, I think you'll, you'll have an idea. <laughs> you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> like when, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. When it first started, uh, you guys, we, we I watched it on a stream mm-hmm. illegal because stream. to be fair it was hard to find and it's still hard to yes, find it for was a lot very of very hard to find that's but now what... that it's accessible and legal mm-hmm. <laughs> now i might i just might just watch it some more and be happy with watching it and not fret that i'm about to get a virus that i can't get that I can't yeah, get exactly <laughs> Yeah, that was that that was a problem with trying to watch. Oh, uh, uh, lean into the mic over there. Uh, that, that Ed that Burke was... joining us, uh, Patreon <laughs> straight from Patreon into your ears. Hi. <laughs> that that was definitely a problem with trying to watch Lucha early because I got into it through you guys mm-hmm. through the Midweek War, and there was nowhere to get it, mm-hmm. and I had to scrub every file I downloaded every week. But every week I was sitting there like hitting F five, mm-hmm. looking to get that next fix, and. I think what really hit home for me is that as insane and crazy as some of the, the shit they have going is, it makes sense in the world that they've presented. Like, if you if you accept the basic premise of the, of the world of Lucha Underground, mm-hmm. then the fact that there is a wrestler who is a literal dragon makes sense, <laughs> and it just works. Mm-hmm. And I fucking love it. <laughs> it's, like, it it's like a... <laughs> A good example of what Wrestling Society X should have been. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of what they wanted to go for, but you know, there's yeah, there's definitely a lot of had, like, there's a lot of comparisons in presentation. Yeah. Uh, that reality show, the jump cut kind of thing. Some of the people that are involved. I look at some history to see who was involved in the first uh, championship feud with uh, Vampiro. He may seem familiar if, after some digging. Um, I don't want to spoil that for anybody out there, but, uh, but yeah, no, check it out. If you haven't yet, uh, we just can't say enough about Lucha Underground. Uh, if you can't get enough wrestling, there's someplace else you can check out too. Uh, of course, indie wrestling.us. You can hear Nick on uh, commentary and announcing over there with our friends, IWC, or, uh, you can check out, uh, some of the releases that are available there, like the prime cuts, uh, like the finding Zach gallon, the, uh, uh, legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table. That was a fun day. Uh, and so many more over on uh, fight.tv. Click the link over wrestlingmayhemshow.com and uh, just sign up through there so you can support the Mayhem Show through that. And, uh, you know, see the Mayhem Nation go, uh, uh, go go nuts on this new service. I've been playing with it a lot, watching Ring of Honor TV since, you know, it's on when I'm doing other things, like watching indie wrestling and, and working with Nick here uh, on Saturday nights uh, when it's on my local area. But they release them every Monday uh, on the app. It uh, can go to your chromecast or your uh, apple tv i believe is available on there as well uh check out ring of honor icw from england some familiar faces may pop up on there for you there as well as championship wrestling from hollywood with friend of the show dylan bostick is involved with that as well uh just seeing his travel schedule over there 
uh, on the left coast. And, uh, and yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff there. And again, like an indie that's got some uh, pretty cool production value and has some, you know, you never know who's going to pop up on WWE next. We're going to take a quick break and be back with the big question. And oh my God, Mayhem Mania Patreon in the bank. You don't want to miss this one. We'll be right back, guys. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's time for the big question. We got the crew here. Of course, the Nick on the couch. Nasty Nick Lindell on the couch. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> because it's late. Uh, <laughs> fuck that out, Chad. The Chad also joining us. <laughs> Damn, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels on the line. Mad Mike on the line. Hey, Larry. Hi, hi. Pa- oh, and hanging out, sure. Patreon supporter Ed Burke, who's going to definitely be sure. joining us more full on for the uh, Mayhem Mania in a moment. But Mad Mike has a big, mad question for us right now. The American Kevin Owens is here for your big question needs. Uh, <laughs> Sork just shaking his head. All right, so. With the arrival of the uh, NXT stuff before the network, what is something you guys also want to see come on the network that hasn't been there before? That, ha- like that, that has its content, you mean? Or like new things? Either or. Um, Either or. If you, if you can think of something new that you'd like to see or something that they've canceled that you want to bring back, like Culture Shock oh. or Legends of JBL oh, or something wow. like that. Yeah. like Okay. Um, well, I have a feeling somebody else is going to say Legends, so I'm going to go with that new uh, WWE 24 that they're teasing right now. Oh, yeah, explain. So you you saw an ad like on the website, right? Yeah, they were. Yeah, what they were, was on it? They had a little uh, teaser trailer of the new WWE 24. It had um, basically Angle coming back to WWE, uh, Goldberg's training for I don't, it might be WrestleMania. I don't know if it was for that or for. Um, Survivor Series, mm-hmm. um, um, Finn Balor's rehab. Um, a lot, it was just a lot of really cool behind the scenes stuff. I feel like uh, expect that like two weeks after Mania because they turn maybe, those they turn maybe. those around quick. Maybe, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but that looked really good. Okay, all right, uh, man. I I I, I uh, just I want and I know the reasons and I know it was there. But can we bring back Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling? Can I have my childhood? Back? <laughs> okay. Can we have my childhood back? And yes, no, it wasn't as good. It does not hold up. But man, I want to watch it some more. I got like two episodes in before they took it down. So that's me. Uh, I'm sorry, Wheels, were you saying something? Uh, I was just going to say, I agree. I like that. That was good. But honestly, I'd love to see another Legends house Mm -hmm. with Ric Flair, Steamboat, (laughs) Sting, Arn Anderson, just... It would be great just to see all of them in one house so together. So you just want NWA Legends House. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 You can have some later well, Legends, I mean, too. We know who produced Legends House, so we will talk to him about that. That's right. Friend of the show. Oh, yeah. Friend of the show, Eric Van Wagen. That's right. That's right. He's been on, he's been on the Midweek War. So, uh, yeah, we got to get him on the main show for sure. Uh, yeah. Don't bring it back. Yeah, bring back that legend. I, I, I don't. I, 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 haven't, I haven't gone yet. I feel like that's more. I feel like that's out of his hands. So, uh, couch. Any of you guys got an answer? <laughs> is is primetime wrestling on the network? I think a, a lot of is it, it is. With yeah, the gorilla yeah. and Bobby Heenan and yeah. stuff. Uh, so, by the way, holds up. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. At least those primetime segments. is great. Absolutely. TNT, not so much. Yeah, uh, that. And I'd, <laughs> I'd love to see them put on um, like old. Shotgun Saturday Night and Velocity and uh, Sunday Night Heat and and Jack, Jack. And Metal and all oh, Metal yeah all those shows because <laughs> there are so many guys that worked uh, that worked uh, enhancement matches on there that uh, that you could go back and watch like I know Christopher Daniels wrestled a lot of matches uh, on Jack Velocity stuff like that there's a there's a match with uh, Daniel Bryan wrestling John Cena and wrestling Shane Helms on Velocity. Uh, then are the always the always short winded uh, J Rock has some matches on. Oh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, he's done he's done some matches. Um, mm-hmm. I watched I watched him wrestle uh, Jeff Jarrett on a 
old TNA episode a couple wow. weeks ago. To be honest with you, yeah. Same here. I, so, I saw that. Give one. it up. Give it up one time for that. <laughs> but I'd, I'd love to see those old those old shows. Velocity, Jack, Sunday Night Heat. All those old. I don't. I don't even know if they have superstars on there. They have like the old superstars. I, I know they have like so. the newer ones. No, yeah. it's not on there. It, it's logged. Yeah, I, I'm well aware that it's logged. <laughs> yes, it he is. Yes, he I, is. I would, I would love to see the old Sunday Night Heats before every pay per view, like in the attitude. Yes, because mm, yes. those are all because those are all live before the pay before the pay per view. I was they have a, a couple pre show matches. I was a fan of the early the first like few episodes of sunday night heat where there were kind of musical montages and and kind of flashbacks and stuff the uh the the look back at at hell in the cell with mcfoley and taker to Vergus merlot made me buy the album huh. you know and you know look i don't know it probably doesn't hold up but uh you know that it, it worked it worked for that chad the chad hashtag fuck that owl uh, hashtag yeah. what's your answer um, I, I too was thinking of the shotgun Saturday nights and, uh, yeah, he gave like five games. answers to be honest, <laughs> but, but there's yeah, one yeah. program that, cause mostly anything is on the network, but there's one program live wire. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yes. What, wait, the, there is, or am I, what am I thinking of? They did the slammies episode. Am I thinking mania? They did one year where it was like a yeah. slammies episode of that when they'd be like, Hey, here's all the slammies that we have. And it was like super random. I, so. I used to, as a kid, I used to watch Livewire on Saturday mornings all the time. So, uh, I used to try like, calling in every week. Whoever, like, they, they had all the TV studio, like, their TVs behind yeah. them, and yep. they would just recap. Yep. And uh, Mike, do you guys remember? There, there was one episode of Livewire where Paul Heyman called in. Wow. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. On, it, on the it, subject, it, I'd it, love for them. It was Paul H. from Yonkers. Oh, <laughs> I'd love for them to put on the network Confidential. There was a show like oh, 2002, yes. 2003 oh, yes. called Confidential where it was, uh, you know, real life stories and hosted by Gene Okerlund. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why it got canceled. It only lasted for a year or two. But I know they did a good piece on like the first real in-depth piece on the Montreal screw job they did on there where I think it was actually on that show where Shawn Michaels admitted that he knew about it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was right before he was coming back in 2002. They did a... Um, a nice feature on, I think, Randy Orton when he was first breaking in. And I just, I don't know why that got canceled because that was such a interesting show. I think it had to do with Mean Gene. I think it had to do with Mean Gene. Maybe. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, about yeah. And I think they've used parts of those as like interstitials between shows on the stream. So, oh, really? Like, oh. Like, I think I've seen those pop up again. Um, part as... Some sometimes they'll show up as special features on some other DVDs where it makes sense. Like okay. with like oh, we talked about Randy Orton, so they'll put the confidential piece up there. Uh -huh. Like I've seen pieces of it pop up, and there's like a best of confidential one or two volumes. On I have yeah, I have the one. It's it's best of confidential volume one. But yeah, as far yeah. as I as far as I know, they never released the second one. If if there is one out there, let me know because I want to got to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd like to see like. The really rando VHS tapes they put out in like the late nineties or uh, late eight or early nineties, late eighties, right? The Coliseum, like UK videos. Rampage Coliseum. I'm sorry. Like UK Rampage ninety three. Like UK. Well, it was in UK Rampage. Uh, was it that like a pay per view show or was it like a collection no, of matches? No, no, that was just a, that was just a Coliseum video. There was collection of matches. Smack 'em, whack 'em. <laughs> what? Yep. Smack 'em, yes, whack 'em. No, 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 no. Yes, that, that was something else, right? No, no, smack, no, that's a real thing. Smack 'em, whack 'em. There smack was one that was. <laughs> Invasion of the Body Slammers. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I remember there was one where it would be a match, and then e between every match would be a segue, and it would be Mr. Fuji and Yokozuna at a restaurant, and it was just Yokozuna just <laughs> eating plates and plates and plates of food in between every match. Yep. Then there was one where they had the Bushwhackers like doing home remodeling, and they were swinging <laughs> sledgehammers at drywall. <laughs> and then there was one where... Uh, Slick was trying to teach Kamala how to how to bowl. Uh huh. All all and I have them all. Also, I know I, know I have them all because I've been um, I've been letting Dabrowski watch them all. Gorilla and Bobby, watch them all. <laughs> and Bobby and they were on a movie set or no no Gorilla and uh, Lord uh, Bobby and Lord Alfred. Yeah, that makes sense. There, there was um I I had the the WF World Tours. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. the. Uh, the uh, uh, Battle of the Superstars had Sean Mooney, and he was at the desk that he's usually at, uh -huh. but he's in fatigues, and there's like flashing bombs <laughs> behind him, and he's oh, yeah, ducking he's every in once space. in a yeah, while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 he's like on the battlefield. Oh, right? oh, yeah. 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 Even, wait, even is there one, wait, 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 is there one where he's in space? There is one he's in space, <laughs> Invasion uh -huh. 92. <laughs> yep. 
Invasion 92. <laughs> all right, I got to go find Sean It's like Moody a Star Trek thing, and they're all like in the ship. And he, I think he like presses a button. He's like, all right, you, can, do you read me? You know, it's not like real, like <laughs> real corny <laughs> stuff on there. It was 90, 1992. Ed Burke. Hey, just imagine, just imagine oh. all of that could have been really young Eric Bischoff. That could have been. If he had, ha- oh, if he had had a better audition. If he had had a better audition. All of the Sean Mooney stuff was probably going to be Eric Bischoff. I needed to sell that broom better. <laughs> Ed Berg, what's he, what, do you, what do you think? Lean in there to the mic over there. Uh, well, since most of the nostalgic stuff's been taken, I'll just pipe dream it. I would love to have the TNA back catalog on so they can put that fucking owl out of its misery. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep, uh, right next to Shotgun Saturday Night. Yes, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Put it Tina, out. Tina Keys released the old NWA VHS tapes like the Danger Zone. Wow. Yes, yes um, absolutely. All right, uh, Sorg, but mine, and and this is something that I didn't even get to see when I worked there. I want OVW and FCW. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah, be what awesome. I fucking yeah. want. I want to see Prototype versus Leviathan. I want to see Shelton Benjamin versus Brock Lesnar. I want to see all of those things. Rico like, Constantino. See... Oh, fucking yes, Rico <laughs> Constantino. Fresh from American Gladiators. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow. I need to see all of that shit. <laughs> all right. Well, let us know the answer to your big question. Hit us up on the Twitter's at Mayhem Show. Uh, big question. All right, guys, it is time. Everybody is re- rearranged magically here on the Mayhem Show uh, here this late in the show. Matt Carlins is ready. The big board is prepared for the Mayhem Mania. There's the big board. And we have a studio audience going on as well. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, so the, yay! <laughs> um, so what is going on this week for Mayhem Mania? Well, Sorg, it's um, it's Patreon in the bank. Uh, it's that time of the year when we let only the uh, Patreon supporters of the Wrestling Mayhem Show play Mayhem Mania. So I uh, screw it. I'm not explaining the rules. Um, let's go in and uh, let's recap the super card and the uh, the undercard, and then we'll get to uh, the moves. Rue. Why don't we? Super card Sorg is right now Brock Lesnar created by. Oh, I'm sorry, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens created by Jackson Argus. As if we haven't talked about him enough tonight. Um, next that, was, up, that was a different show. Whoops. Um, American <laughs> Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling versus The Revival, created by Bobby F. J. Town. We have The Shield versus The New Day, created by Man Mike. And to recap, these are the graduated, the graduated untouchable, matches, supposedly. The matches that survived three rounds without being altered in any way. Now, the rest of them right here. And you're going to find out it's not really going to matter because in Patreon in the bank, kind of everything becomes fair game. Mm -hmm. But these are the eight matches on the undercard, quote unquote undercard. So let's run through these real quick too. Sorg, we've got AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura, created by The Riz. Charlotte versus Asuka, created by Bobby Bobby F.J. Town. We've got Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho, created by Sorgatron. It's me. Kane. Kane versus Finn Balor, created by Larry. Uh, Bobby Roode versus John Cena, created by Lucha Underground co-executive producer Chris DeJoseph. Um, hint, hint, don't mess with that one. <laughs> Samoa Joe versus James Ellsworth versus Braun Strowman, Strowman Reigns versus The Big Show, created by Billy Johnson. And, oh my goodness, uh, Mickey James and Beth Phoenix oh versus God. Lay Cool versus <laughs> Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Emma and Britt. Baker. I'm calling out Garza for that Britt <laughs> Baker there. Come on. Come on. Come on, Garza. Come on. There's some Slack badass shots of her out there. Plenty you know of you shots. Can do that. Um, and finally, we have. Screw it. I ain't going through this. <laughs> Every time the, I see No Way Jose in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> we, have the, we have the Not Awesome Impact Heroes versus the Indie Geeks versus the Main Event Mafia. I am not going through that gaggle, gaggle people. Everybody knows who's in those matches. Everybody's been watching for seven ra- Nick hasn't, but everyone else has been watching. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Nick. <laughs> Sorg. Yes. You can thank me anytime for gathering up all these patrons for you. We have nine <laughs> players crap. tonight. Holy crap. I, first, I, I, we have muted the hangout because I can't first, contain that on the microphone right now. But holy crap. Holy crap. Mm. And first up is um, perhaps the longest tenured Patreon supporter of the Wrestling Mayhem show, Bo Diggity. Um, I think we should find out what move Bo Diggity wants to make. Absolutely. Um, and welcome him in. Um, oh, wait. Before we do that, I'm going to explain to the patrons what, what your moves are. 
You can either, in the past, we would let you auto graduate a match from the undercard to the super card, which is the, the other card. Um, this year, you have an option. You can either graduate a match to the super card or you could demote a match from the super card back to the undercard where it becomes fair game to be uh, trampled. It becomes a, 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 a like a like a tiny squirrel sitting in the middle of the road once again to be run over by a passing <laughs> car. Um, <laughs> second option is that you can add like a stipulation, a title match, a special ref, uh, something like that. Um, and the third move that uh, you can make um, is just the standard move. You could swap, you know, one for one wrestler, uh, swap a match for another match that isn't on the card. You can add a single wrestler or a single tag team to an existing match. Or you can actually, and we're going to make this, all right, once a stipulation is added to the card, it sticks. Stipulations stick. But one of the move options is that you could swap the stipulation between matches. So if that's what you want to do. But you can't just eliminate it. Once it's here, it's here. We have to deal with it. So understand that your moves have consequences. If you create a stipulation, it's like having a baby. You can't just get rid of it. You got to have it forever. Wait. You got to deal with it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I, I'm trying to get Chad to laugh. That's fine. It's not <laughs> working. <laughs> it's just... Okay. Yeah, yeah, it gave us the other way. There you go. Um, without further ado, um, why don't we um, find out what move uh, Bo Diggity wants to make? Because this All is right. the one that's going to get the chat room pissed off. Bo Diggity. Woo! It's Bo fucking Diggity. Now, as you can clearly see, I'm in a car. I'm in no way, shape, or form able to look at the rules of this sort of shit. <laughs> You haven't heard my voice in a long time, so this should not come as any sort of surprise. For those of you who are new to this, my name is Bo fucking Diggity. I was given that name by one of the greatest of any in all time, that is my good friend Chachi. Now, as a Patreon, and one of the original Patreons, if not the first, I think I might have actually been the first. But if I'm not the first, uh, I, I was at least second. I get to pick whatever I want to do here. And I, I, I have a match. I have a great match in my head. I don't, I don't think you guys are ready for this. I really don't. Uh, I would like to take the Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, Big Show, James Elworth match away because no, no, thank you, James Elworth. No, mm -mm, no, go away. Uh, and I would like to insert, since I saw Sorg's idea of all of the various fun people in, in his match, I would like to insert my own match featuring people who were retired. I would like to see Dean Malenko versus Daniel Bryan. Tell me I'm wrong, and tell me that shit wouldn't be fun. Here's the problem. That match in front of 70,000 people, I mean, it's going to be a bit rough, but it's for me, and I get to pick this match. So I choose... Dean Malenko and Daniel Bryan because I want to watch wrist locks for 20 minutes you bitch <laughs> bitch locks just came up with that uh, this has been Bo fucking diggity Bo F diggity I still do it I haven't done one of these things in forever and I still do that shit it's Bo F diggity the F is for face locks good day <laughs> I, I said out. good day. I was trying to figure out when it ended. <laughs> okay. So, all right, so we, the, we got the big match. All right. So, Nick, we have a little rule around here when it comes to Mayhem Mania. You have to operate within the current reality. Okay. So, I, I mean, it's implausible, highly unlikely that we would get that Vince McMahon would just go insane and say, he wants Daniel Bryan versus Dean Malenko at WrestleMania, but <laughs> you know what? Could Dean Malenko is my favorite wrestler too, and and you know what? I think Daniel Bryan can wrestle right now and, if he wanted to. And can we remember Bret Hart post stroke had a wrestling match at WrestleMania? And it's just wrist locks for twenty minutes, sword. Yeah, I think I don't think it's there's a any wrist lock. What is the concussion risk on a wrist lock match? At WrestleMania? None, none. <laughs> wrist lock Those match. Just fall off the side of the minutes. apron. Yes. So, you know what? We got eight other players coming on. You don't like it? You fix it, bastards. All right? <laughs> it's sticking. All right. Let's move on. Uh, let's check out Alex's... Uh, I, I don't want to listen to the chat room complaint. I don't. I definitely want to listen. don't want to listen to the hangout complaint. All right. Next up, uh, we're going to go to Alex. Alex Cars. Uh, the namesake of the Alex Cars. Roll. He emailed in. Oh, he did his, email. Uh, okay. I was worried. He emailed I, like, it I didn't in. get him. 
Okay. He says, I'm going to shake things up a bit. Uh, my move is to add, he wants to, for, first of all, he wants to add a stipulation um, to the New Day versus the Shield match. That's cool. He could do that. I mean, we could kind of go out of order. Uh, he wants to make the Shield versus the New Day a Wii LC match. Um, yeah. You know how much he loves the Wii LC, Sorg. <laughs> yes, so, yes, know. he does. He's so a we'll fan kinda, of that. By the way, by the way, Alex, I got a show that we might want to watch in California when I come out. Yeah. That's yeah, related. So, here, let me just kind of funnel that up there. Like <laughs> wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. I love your... Okay. Now remember, now remember okay, what yeah. I said about the stipulations. The stipulations stick. Now, just thanks like to those, Alex, just like those post-it notes. Just like these post-it notes. Thanks to Alex, somebody's having a We All See match in Mayhem Mania this year, Sorg. All right, it's okay. going to happen. Okay, we can't stop that now because Alex has has made it happen. Uh, he also, um, well, here, here's what he's got. Um, okay, he's got another move here that we can do. He wants to graduate AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura to the Super Card. I say. Thank God, because AJ Styles needs a match. So, where are we, AJ? Uh, there we are. Okay, you're up. Good job. Uh, his other one was another stipulation, so um, that was an alternative move, and uh, he already got his stipulation. He added okay. we all see. So, right. let's move Good. on. Let's get Trey Gar... Or, or, I'm sorry, Trey. Yeah, uh, let's get his move in here. Um, he said, if I crash before Mayhem Mania, which Looks is like likely, like long day, it's a school early night. morning. It is a school night. Um, we're insane. Like to, we're insane. He, he's going to, he's going to spare, uh, he's going to spare, uh, Garza. He's going to replace Britt Baker. What? <laughs> I know. Of all With, the people that do it, of all gonna the people that do it, it's Traegar. He's going to replace, I didn't think he liked the backlash and I think he's trying to spare her from the backlash. Uh, -huh. uh he's going to replace Britt Baker. It's a favorite um, Britt. With someone. I get it who may not be as talented, he's going to replace her with Dana Brooke. So, Brick Baker goes out. That's controversial. And Dana Brooke goes in. But you see what he did there, Sorg? Good friends Good He friends teamed up Emma and Dana Brooke, okay. see? Okay. So that's a good, that's a solid move right there. He's trying to make it right. Uh, and then he's going to graduate this match to the Supercar. And then he's going to, oh, I'm sorry, can you uh, get ready to add a stipulation to this? Um, Trey wants a, a stipulation. He wants a special ring announcer for the women's four way. Sorry, Nick. Uh, it's not you. He wants Mike McGurk for to be the uh, special <laughs> ring announcer for uh, for the uh, women's four way. So we're gonna add that on here. Oh, that means Mike McGurk is gonna be the special ring announcer for a match during Mayhem. Finally, Mania. Mike McGurk Fin has returned to Mike WrestleMania. Mick Work Work. All right. What? So, who? What? Who, who side? Who size? Okay. Uh, so let's get Billy. Billy. Billy's Billy on the line. As the least uh, tenured of the patrons, I Billy, believe. Billy is on the line, I believe. Are you with us, Billy? Yes, I am. Billy Johnson, and thank you so much for your gift that we completely talked about at the beginning of the show uh, here uh, to get the gear spot into uh, uh, Patreon in the bank. We do also take bribes, as, as we talked about. So... Absolutely. Billy, would you like to graduate a match or would you like to demote a match? I would like to graduate a match. All right, what you got? I want to graduate Charlotte and Oscar. All right, very good, very good. I was going to do that anyways, but okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Billy, would you like it's to okay. add a stipulation, special ref, etc., to uh, one of the... Uh, one of the existing matches. Yeah. Actually, you know what? About Actually, since you graduated the match, would you like to create a match to fill one of the holes on the super card? We should do that. You should uh, create a match real here, right quick. For, Got anything on your brain? For the under, you mean for the undercard? Yeah. I want to. I want to go back to the match that uh, just got changed. I want to keep the Big Show against Samoa Joe. All right, Big Show versus Samoa Joe. It is. Yeah. It's on the back. No, that's got oh. two extra people that Billy doesn't want anymore. All right, Billy. Good job. Um, let's get Thank a uh, let's get a uh, stipulation on uh, one of these matches if you uh, are so inclined. A stipulation? Yeah, if you want. If you don't, you can always pass. You don't have to. I'll pass. I'll pass the stipulation for now. All right. And uh, would you like to make any other kind of other standard moves? Swap somebody? Would you like to move a stipulation or uh, kill another match or anything like that? Uh, no, I think, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Good job, Billy. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Excellent work. Ooh, now we're getting it. All right, let's get Bobby up J-Town into here. Oh, right. oh, I got, I got, well, I got. Oh, one Billy, thing. yes, Billy, real. yes. 
yes, it, it, yes, it's Billy. not related, but I, I just want to say one more thing. Fuck the owl. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Fuck the owl. <laughs> In solidarity. <laughs> Fuck wow. the owl. We stand Hashtag together. Fuck that owl. Nick, you weren't looking for a job with TNA, were you? <laughs> no, that ship has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> or crashed. All right, Bobby. I'm looking now Thank because you. that was going to be my move. <laughs> Remember, you can also demote um, a match, and you do not have to. You can always, um, yet, you can always pass. How many moves do I get here? Uh, technically, you get three. My first move is I am going to make my well, the, the the move that or the match that was graduated earlier, Oscar versus Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that a ladder match. Excellent. For the women's title. Can that was going to be my move. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, the first ever ladder match. Ladder match. Um, for my next magic trick. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's flip flop Chris Jericho and Finn Balor. We're gonna swap Finn and Jericho. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. We'll take a look here real quick. Hey, Kurt, hold, hold it. Chat. Just. All right. Thanks. And then I think I'm going to graduate Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt into the Supercard. All right, let me, let me catch up on it. We swapped. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Finn and we swapped who? We swapped, we swapped Finn? Uh, Finn for Jericho. All right, swap Finn for Jericho. And then we're going to graduate Finn and Bray. Okay. I okay. would like to see that. Sorg, my organization uh, attempt is not working. <laughs> at least you got like people helping you out back there. I mean, look at look at Chad pretty, there checking. You know, I went pretty fast for that. <laughs> now we got to raise a baby, according to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> and that baby will grow. And we up. cannot throw that baby away, even <laughs> no matter how much it cries, Bobby. No, all right, no, so no, uh, much, all right, like, Ryan and Fowler go over here to the super card. Bobby, I'm going to need you to create a match for the undercard to fill the hole. Oh, we, i got to create a match, too. Yeah, create a match yeah. for me real quick. Do me this one favor. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this. I know. Uh, Would you like a suggestion? You know what? Perhaps you – go ahead. Um, I don't know who the hell it is. Can we use uh, Southpaw Wrestling people? <laughs> I've been waiting all night. I thought you never asked. Uh, I am going to make uh, Bartholomew, Farmer Bartholomew versus the sea creature. Versus the sea creature. Bobby, yes, I will. I will allow that if you if you will tell me who is portraying. No, if you will tell me who is per portraying the sea creature, I will allow it. I've heard rumor that it's Aiden English. All right, I guess he's not being used. All right. <laughs> wow. Good to go. So Aiden English has made it on to WrestleMania Bart versus the yeah, sea yeah. creature. Via the sea creature. Can, Bobby, I'm I, sorry. I, I cannot add, I cannot let you add the banker. That'll be a stipulation we're going to have to leave no, that I mean, to like, someone. Oh, that's right. Okay. Somebody add Mr. McElroy. All right, we got to need him in that match. Don't worry, we got four players left. We'll see if they can do it. All right, Mad Mike, we what you doing, Mad Mike? Match. Oh god, I love how both Vlad villains have made onto this separately but not together. <laughs> No one wants to see right. the tag team, but individually, it's okay. Okay, Matt, I'm going to make my first two moves really easy Will you, you graduate or ungraduate a match? I am graduating the match sponsored by Lucha Underground, the glorious Bobby Roode versus Mr. Brapadu, John Cena. All right, very good, very good. And in the spirit of Lucha Underground and our jefe, Dario Cueto, that match is now a Boyle Heights street fight. Oh, my, okay. Boyle Heights street fight there. Lovely. Actually, hold on. Um, John C is all about the, the, the troops. So let's make it a weapons of mass destruction match instead. <laughs> very good. Very good. Uh, Mike, would you do me a favor? Since you graduated a match, will you create a uh, match for the undercard to fill one of these holes for me? Oh. oh. Um, can, can I get a quick rundown of what else is on the undercard so I know who I can't use? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. can't see the board, unfortunately. I can't, can't see the board. See <laughs> yeah, it's like Already John Cena. Mind. Yes. The undercard right now is uh, the uh, the Not Awesome Impact Heroes versus the Indie Geeks versus the Main Event Mafia. 
Dean Malenko versus Daniel Bryan. The Big Show versus Samoa Joe. A big Bartholomew versus the Sea Creature. And Kane versus Chris Jericho. Ooh, if you wow. add the cup of coffee stipulation to Kane versus Jericho, you get a gold star. <laughs> well, I already had the stipulation. So yeah, I you can't. can't do it. I'm just offering uh, suggestions for the people coming after you. Oh, man. Um, all right. Cool. Jeez. All right. Um, trying to think of who I want to have in a match. And Bailey's not anywhere on that card, is she? Actually, she is, Mike. <laughs> oh, she is? Okay. She's in All this right. four way. She's in the four way yeah, women's yeah. match. Okay, on, I got it. I got it. I got it. She's in there. See? She's, she's right in there. there. It's fine. Can't you see it? She's way back there. She's right there. Can't you read? <laughs> All right. I, I, <laughs> Can't you see these neon bracelets? <laughs> Could you tell by all the neon that Bailey is on this card? <laughs> Damn, yeah. Oh, man. All right. Uh, you know what? Hell with it. Stephanie McMahon versus Shane McMahon. Book it. I love it. I'd watch it. Hell with it. Why not? It's, been, it's the only feud they've been building for years and has never happened. I like where your head's at. Legacy award on a pole match. <laughs> uh, the Vincent J. McMahon Legacy Award on a pole match I think is uh, what this is all over, right Sword? What? Uh, where, where's Tina? Let's get Tina Oh, by the way um, Bye Mike Props Props for making Bye. my six man Props for making my six man tag a WLC match Alright, good job <laughs> Hi Tina Tina, are you there? Yes, I'm here Hey, how are you? Oh, we didn't scare her away, yay <laughs> <laughs> God, where are you calling from? Tina, Tina, I hate to break it to you. You do have your graduate or demote option still, but I must inform you that our supercard is at eight matches. It's at capacity. So if you're going to graduate a match from the undercard, you must demote a card, a match from the supercard back down. So you gotta do a one for one switch if you're gonna graduate a match from the uh from the undercard to the supercard. Make it a complicated mm, I I'll help you out along the way. I, uh, I don't think I would want to actually uh, demote a match, actually. Nor would you want to graduate a match? Uh, no, actually. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> that was actually not my not my intention. All right. Would you like to uh, add a stipulation to one of our matches? I do. Uh, Kevin Owens and uh, Brock Lesnar will be a submission rules match. Okay. All right. Ooh. And how many submission moves does Kevin Owens know? <laughs> I'm just curious. I want to make sure it's safe for him. <laughs> I'm concerned. Okay. Chinlock is a completely valid submission hold. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Chinlock City. Good, good point by Ed. All right. Thank you, Chad. Chad, too bad. There you go. <laughs> All, right. Um, all right. Would you like to make like a uh, like a standard move? Uh, Tina, you can um, you can swap uh, one wrestler for one wrestler, tag team for tag team. You can add a tag team or a wrestler to a match. You could swap a stipulation from one match to another, um, or you could just kill one of these matches on the undercard entirely and try to create something new. Uh, can we kill the clusterfuck that is the not-so-awesome Impact Heroes, Indie Geeks, and Main Event Mafia? Yes. Yeah, I could do that for you. What would you like to do in its place? <laughs> Um, I'm thinking Alexa Bliss versus Ember Moon. Okay, all right. I love I it. I like that. I like nice. that one. Yes. Good job. Boy, am I glad we brought you on? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Tina. Thank you very much. All right, Ed. Yes. Ed, you're up. <clears throat> do you want to graduate one of these stupid matches? Do you want to demote one of those <laughs> stupid matches? Uh, well, she killed the match I was going to kill, so give me a second. <laughs> we can't, you can't see this on audio, but they're like just holding up just post-it note <laughs> boards in front of him right this now. This is a lot more advanced than it used to be, Sword. It used to be me on the other side of a hangout. You people trying to squint yeah, through the pixelation, to trying to see yeah. what's going on. <laughs> At least now I'm in person here. We're trying to help people through here. No help from our studio audience, please. There's actually nothing that I want to take down. I love the super card. Yes, uh, I do too. I actually can I see that that yeah. one more time. I do want to check one thing. <laughs> we're booking the pre-show now, sort. Um, we're, we're we're done with the super. I card. do want to add. Andre John Bell Royal. 
What's that? I want to add a stipulation to one of them. Okay, great. What do you want to do? Um, the American Alpha Kings of Wrestling Revival match will mm-hmm. have special guest referee Kurt Angle. Excellent. I like it. Ooh. Excellent. The secretary is... Yeah, she's scribbling it down. Um, now, you can make a, a standard move to the undercard if you want to. Um, and you can also swap stipulations that. between matches if you want to. Yeah. So, uh, why don't you... Uh... <laughs> What's up, Bob? Do it, or you could just pass this, and I'll and I'll give you something else to do entirely. Because I got two open slots here on the uh, undercard. We try to keep this thing at eight. Yeah. So uh, one way or another, I need two matches created before we're done here. So I'm counting on you, and then I'm gonna make Nick to to create a match too, out of thin air. So if you got anything on your mind that you really feel, is there anyone you feel like is left off this card? Perhaps uh, now that we've cleared room with like the uh, by eliminating that. 18 person uh, tag <laughs> match. That there's a, there's a lot of meat in there. <laughs> so that was, a, that was, who was in that match that got eliminated? Um, it Every, was No Way left. Jose, Austin Aries, hold on, hold and on. Eric me... Young versus Grand Metal League and Here. DIY all versus those people. All Booker those people. T oh, and all Kurt people. Angle <laughs> yes. and Scott Steiner. So, I mean, Scott getting Steiner. Scott getting Kurt off the card was perfect <laughs> because it allowed you to move the I heard the you perk up a Scott Steiner. Don't we all? Obviously. Uh, yeah, let's make a new match. Um, uh, Baron Corbin versus Eric Young. Ooh. All right. In Who's More Filthy. I think I like Eric in that one, but I, I, the Baron could give him a I support the beard. It's like a reverse burial alive match. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, I'll keep it really simple for you. Just create one match for us. Okay. Uh Within the bounds of our current reality, surely there must be something we've forgotten. Okay. Cruiserweights. Yes. Does South oh. Paul count as current reality? Does what? Apparently does it does Paul now. Yeah. It's, it South is Paul reality. Is the current reality. It exists. WWE it's made it there. canon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they did. You don't know what was going to happen if I got a chance to make a match tonight. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. So there's no, there's no cruiserweights on here right now. Austin uh, Aries isn't on because yeah, Aries kicked got off. kicked off. Yeah, right. Okay, so. Cruiserweight Open for the Cruiserweight title. Neville, Austin Aries, Kendrick, Whoa. Perkins, Gallagher, Graham met the league. I got to stop you there. That sounds like a good number. What is that, six? I think six is a good no, number. six guys. Cedric, I mean, Alec- no, Cedric Alexander's hurt, so that's easy. You can leave okay. him off then. There you go. If I forgot somebody, I'm sorry. You don't want you don't want to write all those names, do you? Well, how in the <laughs> hell am I going to keep track of them? All right. Well, no, I got to keep track of them. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Neville. Aries, help me out. Kendrick, yeah, Perkins. Hello, okay. Aki- Did I say Akira Tozawa? Oh, Tozawa, that's a good one. All right, I got to stop you at six, though. Okay. I mean, we try to keep these things done. I want to leave somebody out. Yeah, Did can- I say Gallagher? Perkins, Jack Gallagher? TJP, right? TJP? Yeah. Gallagher, that's six. Okay. Oh, okay. Leave everybody else Did out. You include champion. No Tony Nese on WrestleMania this year. The king of the cruiserweights? There the upside down triangle? Right. Cruiser right. Brock himself, <laughs> Neville? <laughs> Yes, we did not forget about him. <laughs> that always gets a pop. All right. Well, I'm going to recap the card, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at the super card first. Um, first of all, uh, I don't know what main events here, but we'll see. Uh, submission match, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. Uh, American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling versus the Revival with special referee Kurt Angle. Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. We finally got it, Sorg. Uh, <laughs> WMD match. Bobby Roode versus John Cena. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. We LC The Shield versus The New Day. You know what? I suddenly like this match now. I've complained about it ever since it was created. But with this We LC stipulation, I'm on board now. I feel good about this match and, now. And then just let's clarify. That's all those people with the tiny ladder. Tiny ladders, tiny chairs, yes. <laughs> tiny announcers, <laughs> tiny announcer desk, tiny, ice cream bars. tiny carts, tiny forklifts, tiny ice cream bars, yes, Let's tiny kendo that. sticks, <laughs> little toothpicks. <See? laughs> okay. um, ladder match: Charlotte versus Asuka, uh, Lay Cool versus Bailey and Sasha versus Beth Phoenix and Mickey versus Emma and Dana Brooke. Special ring announcer: Mike McGurk. <laughs> Inspired. I can't believe that four way got through. You bastards. That's why I gave you the. The moat option. All right. Um, and uh, here's what's fighting it out for the uh, for the pre-show right now. Um, Alexa Bliss versus Ember Moon. 
Dean, I hear you. Uh, Dean Malenko <laughs> versus Daniel Bryan. Stephanie McMahon versus Shane McMahon. Baron Corbin versus Eric Young. The Big Show versus Samoa Joe. Big Bartholomew versus the Sea Creature. Kane versus Chris Jericho. And a Cruiserweight Open. Neville versus uh, Austin Aries versus Brian Kendrick versus Akira Tozawa versus TJ Perkins versus Jack Gallagher. You okay with this? Yeah. Like seeing <laughs> no, all out. good. All good to go. My God. My <laughs> God. Wow. Uh, I like the tweet that came up. Remember that Mayhem Mania card from last week? Crumple it up, throw it away. Yeah, basically, right? You know what? A couple a couple weeks ago, I thought we were heading for a disaster. I didn't think we were going to be able to pull off anything resembling a, a match, a card anybody would want to see. I kind of like this. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> That's great. I kind of like well, it. Well, since I have everybody here, I think let's have a super what did I learn in wrestling this week. Please give it brief. We'll do the round table. Um. So, a and and so, so so who wants to go first? Who, what what'd you guys learn? Uh, Ed, uh, there are a few things more entertaining than watching someone new see Lucha Underground for the first time. <laughs> we got a lot of that as we have discussed. Uh, Nick, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned that uh, no matter how good or how bad you think you are, there's always someone better that's going to get a spot before you. When I turned on Impact this week and saw Rockstar Spud ring announcing, <laughs> I, uh, I texted Joe Dabrowski. So why is Rockstar Spud ring that's announcing? Like, and that's Dabrowski's boy. That's right why I there. said that. Yes. I said, why is Rockstar Spud ring announcing? He said, I don't know, but I have an email into Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, that is great. Uh, we'll get to you in a moment. Everybody, please hang on on the hangout. Uh, Matt, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I, I learned Nick does a great Joe Dombrowski impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, Larry, Larry, what'd you learn? Get up on the mic. Get on the mic. Just lean in there. Just lean in there a little bit. Get show us some love. Um, I learned McFoley can still take a bump. There you, there you go. There you go, Chad. <laughs> Good. I learned that like John Cena with a wig sitting at a desk. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, over on the Hangout, uh, we're just going to go down the line here. Uh, Mike, I have you up here. Uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that between Total Bella's bullshit and South Bar Regional Wrestling, whoever's in charge of those, put them in charge of everything fucking else on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. Uh, Riz, what did you learn? I learned that um, that Big Bartholomew is going to fight <laughs> for all of the farmers in all of the southern countries. And the chickens. And the chickens. They eat the chickens. And the chickens. They eat the chickens. They eat the chickens. <laughs> and also uh, U.S. Like, U.S. Is John. What, what was that, Riz? And also John Johnson's just John. Yeah, of course. Uh, what about you, Wheels? I learned I cannot get enough of Lucha Underground. I want more and more and more. Moss, Moss. Yes. What were you, Bobby? Moss. Um, I, I learned a very uh, harrowing development happened on SmackDown tonight. Uh, the forklift has turned on Baron Corbin and joined forces with Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm very upset by that. Absolutely. Very upset by that. Uh, uh, Tina, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned it's not the best thing to do to find out why a certain superstar is trending on Twitter. Oh! <laughs> Never. That's, probably, oh. that's probably the best discussion we're going to have on that. Uh, it, uh, I can, I can uh, piggyback on that. It's also not always great to uh, find out why Marshall Gambino sent you a link while you're in the car <laughs> with strangers. Um, <clears throat> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, it wasn't Jimmy DeMarco. You had to assume it was safe. Yeah, right? I'm like, oh, Marshall She's never sent me anything awkward before. Uh, thanks. Were buddy. you driving with? Hey, there's a the reason they call him the Bull Sork. Mm -hmm. There's a reason they call him the uh, Bull. Billy, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned that we are less than two weeks away from Raw. I mean, from what's WrestleMania, and Raw was two and a half hours too long this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Someone raw wrap up. We talking about than that. me. Someone and, less kinder than me about raw. And of course, uh, uh, producer of the show Missy has something to say. 
I learned that combination of Lucha Underground and Mike can break Sorg almost irreparably. Yes, check out that Lucha Underground video we made last night. <laughs> so uh, It's not like that other video somebody else made this week. Uh, but anyways, thank you everybody. Thank you to the amazing, pa- amazing Patreon supporters. We got a special interview on Mayhem Gold if you are a patient supporter at the $5 level with uh, Ed and about his ice cream that he brought us this evening. So Delicious thank you so cream. much to them. Thank you to everybody. Check us out next week. See how the rest of the Mayhem Mania uh, shakes out and compares to WrestleMania here in a couple weeks. Mayhem Show out. <laughs>